से निकले थे तुम पंख फड़ फड़ा उड़ चले स्वर्ग की ओर हे श्वेत अश्व नुकीले नैन नक्ष लिए विद्युत तरंगों पर विराजित चिर किशोर लांग कर प्राची दिश का ओर छोर उच्च श्रवाह तुम उड़ चले स्वर्ग की ओर फ्रॉम सिविल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टू मिलिट्री परस्यूज फ्रॉम ड्रॉट सपोर्ट टू एग्रीकल्चरल पार एंड फ्रॉम सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रिएशन टू शो केसिंग ऑफ मेजेस्टिक माइट हॉर्सेस हैव प्लेड वेरीड रोल्स इन ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन With potential to generate income, horses are a source of livelihood to millions of resource poor farmers. Equines are an asset in hilly and difficult terrains where other means of transport are inaccessible. Now, horse power can be used for power generation in fields. Realizing the socio-economic importance of equines in our predominantly agrarian society, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research established National Research Center on Equines (NRCE) on 26th of November 1985 at Hisar, Haryana. A sub-campus at Bikaner, established in 1989, is contributing significantly for upliftment of the landless and marginal farmers by helping in conservation and improvement of the germplasm of indigenous equine breeds, revolving around welfare of equines and equine owners. The mission and mandate is demand-driven and goal-oriented: to undertake research on health and production management in equines. to develop diagnostics biologicals for major equine diseases to act as national referral facility for diagnosis surveillance and monitoring of equine diseases to provide diagnostic advisory and consultancy services over the last 25 years center has been concentrating on research on equine health and production and we have been able to cope up with many diseases notable among them being equine influenza in 1987 when more than 83000 animals they were affected and subsequently equine infectious anemia created havoc in thoroughbred industry and we have been able to control this disease with the help of department of animal husbandry and dairying and also the turf authorities now in the recent past we had uh, seen the resurgence of uh, equine influenza in 2008 which covered almost 18 uh, uh, 11 states in the country but now for the last one year we have been able to not to see any disease in the country and now it is almost contained state of art laboratories are the main center specifically undertake research on viral bacterial parasitic and major non infectious diseases whereas the bikaner station addresses production breeding nutrition and drought ability issues The amazing climatic variability of the country has led to the evolution of six distinct and indigenous breeds of horses namely Marwari Kathiawari Manipuri Spiti Zanskari and Bhutia Of these Kathiawari and Marwari are the best in terms of both the utility and beauty Bhutia Spiti and Zanskari ponies mainly found in the hilly areas of Himalayan ranges are slow moving horses but due to prevalent mixed breeding the danger of losing the unique identity is looming large over indigenous breeds hence NRC is continuing a major program on phenotypic and molecular characterization of these breeds through DNA test using modern micro satellite based PCR technology the findings are interesting micro satellite based genetic studies with indigenous breeds of equines have revealed that manipuri and zanskari breeds are very close to each other while spiti and bhutia breeds have originated distinctly and kathiawari breed seems to be the oldest breed among these indigenous breeds in order to increase the population of superior quality horses and maximize the production potential the technology of artificial insemination has been perfected and is being employed in the field successfully with this technology a stallion may cover 10 to 12 mares with added advantage of reducing the risk of sexually transmitted diseases This technique is also used for the production of mules. 
we have our national cement bank of marwari and kathiawadi harsej and that cement is being used for artificial purposes for production of mules and uh, ponies in haryana and rajasthan states and uh, this technology will be very much helpful for conservation of horses. NRCE has developed a sensitive ELISA kit capable of early pregnancy detection in mares. The NRCE has developed standard protocols for the proper management of equines including cleaning and disinfection of sheds, physical exercise, trimming of hooves, clipping of hairs, proper housing, feeding of balanced ration, breeding and health management. NRCE has developed cost-effective and quick diagnostics for early detection of diseases and also undertakes regular surveillance and monitoring of important equine diseases in the country. Modern biotechnological tools are used for the purpose. As a result, the center has now been recognized as a national referral center for diagnosis of major infectious diseases. The data generated by the center helped in declaring India free of African horse sickness in 2006-07 by World Animal Health Organization. Among infectious disease, equine herpes virus 1 or EHV1 is the single major cause of abortions and incurs a loss of approximately 40 crore rupees per annum to equine owners. The blocking ELISA kit developed by the Center for Diagnosis offers accurate and quick detection to control equine herpes, viral abortion mares. The Center has come up with an effective equi herpabort vaccine which has been developed using indigenous EHV1 virus isolate and has been adequately tested at field level. Abortion due to equine herpes virus 1 is one of the major problems worldwide. For this, we have developed diagnostic kit that is monoclonal antibody based. That kit has been released by our Honorable Director General for the field use and uh, we have developed this vaccine where our indigenous strain of equine herpes virus 1 is added. This is a killed vaccine and vaccine is under field trial at, at, at the validation stage. Equine influenza, commonly called horse flu, the disease reappeared in the country after a gap of 20 years and spread to 13 states in 2008-9. NRCE rose to the occasion and developed a low-cost effective vaccine. This vaccine has been updated with new strain of virus in 2009-10. Equine rotavirus ERV is one of the major cause of diarrheal incidents in foals of less than six months of age, causing widespread morbidity and mortality. Center has developed a sensitive and specific ELISA test for quick diagnosis of rotavirus from stool samples. Amongst the bacterial pathogens affecting equines, glanders is a highly contagious and notifiable disease of equines in India which re-emerged in India in 2006 and is transmissible to humans. Falls get infected by Rhodococcus equi, which causes bronchopneumonia, which turns fatal if timely treatment is not provided. NRCE has developed a PCR-based diagnostic for early detection to facilitate timely and life-saving treatment of foals. Trypanosomosis or Sura is one of the most important and widespread hemoprotozoan disease of equines with potential to jeopardize productivity and performance of the animal. The Parasitology Laboratory of NRCE provides diagnostic services to stakeholders through several direct and indirect methods which include more sensitive and specific ELISA and PCR assays developed by the center. Babesiosis is another economically important hemoprotozoan disease which lowers droughtability of equines. The disease is transmitted by ticks. NRCE has developed an effective and sensitive recombinant protein-based ELISA and PCR technique for its diagnosis. Realizing the importance of microbial resources in fighting the emerging and re-emerging veterinary pathogens, a veterinary type culture center, VTCC, has been created at NRCE in 2005. It undertakes acquisition of microbial cultures by field isolation, gifts and reposition by researchers followed by culture identification, authentication, preservation and accession from all over the country.
The NRCE maintains regular interactions and contacts with equine owners by providing clinical services, consultancy, relevant and timely information and trainings for equine management, health and production, Kisan Goshti, Kisan Darbar and mass awareness programs are organized on routine basis. Our endeavor is ultimately to utilize the latest uh, researches wherein we are trying to focus on clinical proteomics in disease diagnosis and pathogenesis. We are also now attempting embryo transfer technology which will help us in conservation of the equine species. The fortune of equine owners is transforming with leaps of horse they own. Horses have become a source of prosperity. Rightly, now with the efforts of NRCE, horses are symbolizing energy and sun. As told in some ancient Sanskrit texts, the legend of horse continues.